Hi, I'm Orphan, and today I'm going to teach you how to cook the most amazing rice ever. There are only three things you need to do. Measure, cook, and serve. As for the measuring, you're going to need to get yourself a liquid measuring cup and measure a little less than two cups of water. Normally, the packages of rice that you'll buy in the stores will say, eh, about two cups, but that's not the most amazing rice ever, and this is. So do it a little less than two cups. Then you're going to need to measure one cup of rice, which I have already done so. Stay tuned to the Weird World of Savio show, and I'll show you how to cook the most amazing rice ever. It's a Weird World of Savio. 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 You watched another Weird World of Savio show, and tonight we're arrested, and the phone's ringing. That's the cops. Hello? What's up? I'm in a frame. I'm in a frame. Nah, but I'll be hanging in the tree soon. Call him back later. Nah, I gotta go. Call you back. Bye. Let's go check out Eddie. Dude, what's that smell? I don't know. It's bad acting? I think it is, man. I think it is. But this next segment? This is not how you treat a computer. Yeah, don't try this at home, alright? Check it out. What the heck, man? They guaranteed me on eBay that it would work. It doesn't have a hard drive. Rico, come here! Hey, what's up? Dude, this is not working. I don't know what's going on. There's only one thing we can do. What? Destroy. I'll have a Big Mac, a side order of fries, and a soda, and an order of rice. Let's check out a cooking segment. Welcome back. Now that you have your water measured, all you need to do is take a little less than two cups of water, pour it into a saucepan. Turn it on high, and just wait for the water to boil. Now that your water is boiling, 
Just take your rice and put it in. Get some time stirring the rice and stir it around in the water. Once you've got your rice stirred in, cover and turn it on low. Let's simmer for about 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, check it to see if it's good. Rico, did I tell you about how I got interviewed by a girl in Ohio on um, the Austin Nicole show? Yeah, you already told me about it. Cool, let's go check it out. Get focus, man. Oh, hey everyone, it's December, and of course, you're watching the Austin Nicole and Company show. Uh, you can play games and you can find out more information on Willy Wonka products. Okay, that's really cool, Krista. Yeah. By the way, I like your I like your nose. Oh, thank you. Hey, Austin. What? Is your nose running? Why? Better go catch it. <gasps> ha! Here again at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, and today on Mad About Animals, we're talking about the warhogs. The warhog lives in Africa, and this. Help me! Help me! Oh no, I'm just kidding. I'm not Martha. It's Gina, and it's time to cook with Gina. And this month, I'm taking y'all to my kitchen. I'm so excited. Y'all know I just love that Christmas season with all my parties going. But I'll spare some time for y'all to share with you again some of my favorite recipes that you can throw together for the holiday season. So let's go take a look inside my kitchen. Yeah, to get this first thing started, I'm going to show y'all how to make Gina's easy breezy fruity cake. Oh, please, please, no, no, no. Oh. Me. Yep. Why? There's, see, what happens is when you're blowing fast air into it, it bounces off the back of the bottle and increases the air pressure within the bottle. So that compressed air tries to get out and it brings the paper wall with it. What can I say? I love a man with brains. When Christmas comes, it waves a wand throughout this whole world, making everything softer and more beautiful once again. Gosh, Christmas is so like the best time of the year. I mean, I've got Daddy's credit cards and there's sales at the mall. I mean, I know Christmas is all about giving, so Daddy won't mind giving me a little extra this year. Well, anyways, you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Shopping too. <laughs> Bye! We can make the sun shine the rain, shine on for this month, we're going back to Florida for Windows of the World again, and right now we're going to go talk to John Savio. Now, John has his own public access TV show, too, just like we do, so it's going to be really cool. We have a lot in common, so this interview should go really great. So, John, hi, are you there? Hey, Austin, Nicole. It's me, John Savio, uh, from Florida for the Weird World of Savio show. Yeah, well, I'm so glad you could make it today. How are you? I am awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic, and I'm so glad to be able to sit down with you and have this interview today. Now, the reason I wanted to have you on the show was because you do a public access show as well, and I thought that was really cool because I knew we would have a lot in common. So, can you tell us how you first decided to do your show? Well, some girls in Hawaii emailed me from doing some of my work on um, Parahills.com, which is my video production company, and um, they sent me some of their work in exchange, and I saw that they did a public access show. So I was like, hmm. And I remember seeing Tom Green, that's how he started. And I was like, I never thought of that. So then I started focusing all my attention on producing a show. And so now it's, it's on public access and on the internet. Well, that's really cool. I know a lot of different stars have gotten their start on public access too. So I'm glad that I'm not the only one who saw that as a window of opportunities. So that's really great. Now, how long have you been doing this show for now? Technically five months, but really it's been airing four. 
Well, congratulations. And from some of the work that I've seen already, you're doing a wonderful job. So good luck with that. Now, tell me about your crew. Do you have a lot of crew members? What are their ages? Can you tell me a little bit about them? Uh, well, it's really, the tripod would be considered the crew, and uh, I do all the editing myself right behind, uh, behind, behind here. And um, basically it's me and my buddy Rico and all my friends, and it's a weird world of savvy show, so anybody that knows me is on my show, <laughs> except for my parents that don't really want to do it. That's really cool. I know, my family thinks I'm crazy, and they never seem to want to get on camera either, but oh well. We'll just leave the camera up to you and I. Told you we had a lot in common. Now, before you started your show, did you have any like kind of special training on using the cameras, or is it just something you picked up as you went along? Oh, training, training, training. Actually, I started when I was 11 years old. I used to um, do puppet shows and stuff for my family, and I started filming them. And then I was like, wow, I can control what they see. So then I started uh, really getting into it. I used VCRs to edit my stuff, and uh, and now I've I've gone through middle school training. Like we had a news program there. I went um, high school had a news program, and now I'm in college and I'm taking uh, television. That is so cool that you're into puppets because when I was younger, I actually did that too. So see another thing we have in common, John. So that's pretty cool. Well, I know that you talked about studying some stuff in college and everything. Is television something that you would like to plan along with your career? Well, not exactly. I'll, I'm, anything that's open, like, basically I would love to make movies. Um, like Ben Stiller and all his friends are on all his movies and stuff. I, you know, I'm, I'm goofy. I like to do goofy stuff. and. Uh, and I like to entertain, obviously. And um, so, yes, I will do television if the opportunity allows it or, you know, you know, I'm open, pretty much. Goofy? Oh, no, I know nothing about that. <laughs> well, anyways, did you always want to do a television show or what got you started with this? It just, it flashed into my head, like, just. I was watching their TV show, The Girls in Hawaii, and I was just like, wow, I need to do this. This is, this is the next step. This is what I need to do. I, just, I, I felt like this is what the next, the next path I need to take on my, uh, my road of life. That's really great, John. I can already tell that you're so goal-oriented, and I'm glad to see you taking the next steps and going towards the goals for your future. Now, on the show, I'm always trying to encourage teens to get involved in their communities. Do you think television is a great way to do that? Oh, of course. Anything that keeps you off the streets and from doing drugs. And that's my, uh, my slogan. I actually, I don't, I don't believe in any drugs, uh, nudity, uh, all that bad X-rated content in movies and stuff. It's the easy way out. And yes, it's a lot harder to come up with content that's funny that's not dirty. Wow, John, that is so great to see you standing on a positive message as well because with the show, that's what we try to do. We try to get kids to find their talents and go places with it, benefit themselves and the community. I mean, I have a public access show because I enjoy doing theater and that kind of stuff. It may not be for everyone, but that's why I always try to encourage kids to find your talents and go and do something great for the community and yourself because I know when you do things for other people, you always feel really good about yourself, too. So that's really great to see the message you stand on. And I so know what you're talking about, filling the hour show, trying to find it entertaining but clean and fun, too, at the same time. Because I know when you're trying to fill an hour show, that can be really crazy at times. So I can definitely feel you right there. John, why are you so far away? Because I'm really scared of this next video.
Hanging out on a tree right now. Rico, can I switch you spots? Sure. Cool. We're just hanging out, yeah. To the next segment. Now that you've measured and cooked your rice, all that's left to do is to serve. You take it, see how the rice has absorbed all the water. Get some soy sauce if you choose to use it. Mix them in. And that's it. Serve your rice. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> what a good ending. Thanks for watching. Guys, this is really good. I told you, it's the most amazing rice ever. That's the name of the recipe. Normally the packages of rice that you'll buy in the stores will say, eh, about two cups, but that's not the most amazing rice ever, and this is.